Did you guys know that this channel here is blowing up? I mean, we are on the come up here. Can't stop striving towards the top. We're reaching number one. One of these days, we're going to be like Onision or Shane Dawson. Those are bad examples, but one of these days... I'm going to be a PewDiePie. I know it. Well, it's ugly disgusting here for episode one of season two of the one and only MSJ and the 13th Wolfman's movie challenge. Actually, I believe this is the one and only MSJ's first challenge to the 13th Wolfman. And what he asked him to do was find the cheapest movie in his video collection or his movie, or Blu-ray, or DVD collection. So, I've rifled through my pile of crap, and I've come up with... Oh! Damn! I'm going to break the whole thing over here. The cheapest movie that I own, currently at least, is Murder Set Pieces, which I found at the... Family Video in Hobart, Indiana, for only three bucks, two bucks or something. It was really cheap. And I was so amazed to see it because I had seen it on so many disturbing movies lists. And I was like, this is a steal. I'm going to grab this. Of course, I didn't know that it was the entirely cut and just destroyed version. Many years later, I would try to buy an uncut version of it off Amazon or eBay, and the seller lied and said it was the uncut director's cut version, but it wasn't. It was the same thing that I got at Family Video. This movie was made in 2004 and directed by Nick Palumbo. He garnered a little bit of negative attention for this movie, as the original cut had a lot of violence towards women and violence towards female children. Thank God I didn't get to see that in this cut. Not that it really would have improved my life any, but I suppose that I would have known the total horror of murder set pieces. But since I've gone backwards in time all the way to season two, episode one of the 13th Wolfman and the one and only MSJ's movie challenge, I am a completionist. So eventually... One day, I will own the director's cut or the uncut version of Murder Set Pieces. I'm not sure why I'd even buy this. The movie's sick enough as it is. The same folks from Toe Tag who did the special effects work on the August Underground trilogy did special effects work in this movie. In fact, Fred Vogel and Christy Wiles make a cameo appearance, along with Tony Todd and Gunnar Hansen. Not really a movie I can recommend. It's quite offensive. It's very down on women. Nick Palumbo wanted to make a very Las Vegas-based movie. I believe Nick Palumbo said on the commentary of this movie that murder happens every day in Las Vegas, which is kind of disturbing in and of itself. That completes my movie challenge with the 13th Wolfman and the one and only MSJ until the one and only MSJ releases his newest video with, if there is any, a different challenge for episode 6.2. You know what I think you should do? You guys should go down into the description and follow the links to the one and only MSJ and the 13th Wolfman's channels and subscribe to them if you haven't already. They make great videos and they're really cool guys. And thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Don't unsubscribe. So many people are unsubscribing. What the hell are you guys doing? And get notifications going. 
ding ding so that way you get word when i release a new video here which i know you're waiting with bated breath for every single video drop by the ice lord and i am the ice lord <laughs> thanks for watching and have a wonderful weekend the very next video i swear to god will be part three of the Bill Hellfire Director Spotlight. I swear. I promise. And made in 2000... What is it?